If you're yeah. not doing anything, it should be just steady state. If you start eating something, it'll change. If you start exercising, it'll change. If you start stressing out, it'll change. If you go a long period without eating and your blood sugar is not stable, it might change. Like it'll go low. But usually, preferably, what you want to see is that even if you go long periods without eating, your blood sugar just doesn't drop that much. It drops a little, but it just kind of stays pretty, like the drop is very gradual and just kind of stays pretty even. That's ideal because that means your body is sensing the blood glucose starting to drop and it's liberating the glucose supply from your glycogen, from your muscle, from your liver. And then when you run out of those, then it's going to start break down fat and release those energy sources. So your glucose just stay about the same yeah. all the time. That's ideal. People whose blood sugar is not stable, you'll see them after they only eat for a long time, the blood sugar sort of drop, 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 and then that coincides with them feeling bad, 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 hypoglycemic symptoms. That will be like the classic scenario of hypoglycemia. Then those people need to do more to stabilize the blood sugar.